hello everyone welcome to another video on this video i'm going to show you the how the image or any file can convert to the base 64 format on the react applications there are many ways to do it you can also find many ways to do it in google but i'm going to using the uh, promise uh, uh, on a file reader and i'm going to put that in state and i'm going to show you the uh, the image that is converted on base 64 on the xx so let's begin so i created the uh, react applications using the uh, cli here so here is my um, the files here so on this file uh, basically it has the uh, react toolset is my uh, the folder and this folder I have a source and the source I have the app.js index.js and public I have indexed HTML and this all file will created by our react CLI if you guys don't know how to create a react CLI then you can google it on react CLI and once you google it here and once you go it here you can see this command and this command will allow you to create a react applications all right mm -hmm. so this is the react applications here so i'll go back to the my file here so is the index.html is calling the root and the root is injected by the uh, index.jss here and it's injected by this guy which i don't need the service worker i'm going to remove it mm -hmm. and after that it will call the app here so app is basically right here and it will show me this uh, the react SPG is rotating here back there so what I'm gonna do is I'm go I don't need anything here so I'm gonna remove it and I'll just put a test here so now the test is here so let's begin with the the tutorial which is a converting a file to the base 64 format so I'm gonna create an input file input here and input type uh, will be uh, the file and basically that's it it's a file type so you will get a file input here now you can uh, pick your image here i have a couple of image here and i'll just pick the belt and it will it will uh, put it on my input file input type here right so uh, i'll just go to the console because i want to see what's it's been imported so i'll go to app.js and it, it it doesn't do anything here so now i will put my change event here on the change event i will bind the one of the my event which i'm going to create it now so the event is going to be uh, uh upload upload image i guess could be anything and i will put that uh, the event here and event is coming from this input type and yeah it's going to complain it doesn't know what the upload image is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the upload image here and i'm going to oops uh, this is going to be uh, the the function here and i'm going to print this event here so let's see what's in, inside this event all right so now let's see so so now i'm going to close this and i'm going to click on choose files i'm going to import it so now it, it's a function it's a event here the event is printing here even has a lot of function stuff and but we're not interested on in that one uh, we're interested on the event dot target and we're getting a target e dot target dot files and files is an array so now we will get as an array of the files so now if i pick this pick this or maybe pick this one so now i will see a file list and files is an array and the first one we will get that file here so this is a file information so we'll go back to the here and we will now get getting we know that what the file is so we'll get use this one event and we'll put this in a index of zero now i'm i know what the file is file is right here so now i need to convert this file to base 64. so i will con i'll create another function called base convert 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 base 64 64 so now base 64 need a file file to convert so now i will return the new i'll create a new promise prom promise and in the promise inside the promise we can add the uh, re resolve and reject parameter there is a two parameter that is a promise will return so if anything is success then it's return resolve if fail then we re reject so i'm gonna create a file reader instance from file reader object uh, not yeah and in the file reader uh, there is a read as function read as data url so i'm gonna read this file right but i'm gonna read it when the file reader is on load 
after reading when the file reader, reader is on load then it's gonna yeah it's gonna give me the another callback functions here and in this callback function I'm gonna do a resolve and on the resolve I'm gonna put this file reader dot result it's gonna give me a function called result so now it's reading the file when it's on load and successfully when it's successfully then it's, it's already reading and it's gonna return it all right when everything is reloading then it's gonna return but but what happened if it's error right so if it's on error then then we're gonna return the error error and result reason from using a reject here all right reject so okay so this is done so now in, in I need to use this convert v64 and I'm gonna send the file and it's a promise so I can use await and I, I need to use async here and once I await now I can get in the base 64 here format so now I can print this and I can see that I'm actually getting it or not all right so now let's upload the picture okay unload is not a function so I'm getting one issue here and it's file reader on unload is not a function let me check what is it uh, let me check file load on load on now if I it says the file on load is not function so it looks like Oh right, yeah. On load is not function. Where I need to do a equal here. See now it's converted back to the base sixty four format, and I'm seeing the base sixty four format. Sorry for that. The on load is not a function. It's basically it's a looks like it's a property here, and the property will return you the uh the, the event, and the event is right here. File dot file results when it's on load and everything's loaded then it's going to convert this and it's going to add it on this one all right so i'm getting a base 64 format which i'm printing right here this is a base 64 format image which i uploaded now let's put this image on on our zxs here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a new uh, line here all right new oh, oops new line and on the new line, let's uh, write the uh, image and the source. And on this image, let's give some height to make that a little, not not too big of the image. If the image is big, then it's gonna make it really big. But I don't want it really big here. So I'm gonna put here the uh, B base base image. It doesn't even matter what the name you provide here. It's a base image. So I don't have anything to bind with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one state here. So I'm going to create a use state functions and it's going to be a base image and base image is the initially will be a empty, but it's going to change it after I upload this base 64. So now, now it's ready to test it. Okay. Uh, use state is not defined because I need to import that from react. All right. So now, it's ready to test it so now when I upload it if I pick this so now the image is right here so now if I pick this image is right here. if I check this image then this is a base 64 for mine right here so it's converted to base 64 it's showing it right here which is a perfect what we need and that's all for this video guys I hope you guys like it and if you guys need more videos like this or any of these uh, tutorials please do subscribe and thank you very much for watching Bye for now.